This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. The Bramble, it goes till midnight tonight? Yeah, Eastern Day, Eastern Standard Time. I'm so used to saying daylight that I'm stuck with it. You know, it's kind of like that clock that you never change back to daylight time, and then what happens is uh, you, do, you don't turn it back long enough that eventually it's daylight savings time again. So if I keep saying on all these shows daylight savings time, eventually I'm going to be right, Okay. Well, I'm going to talk to you for a while tonight. People seem to like that, seems to get the viewers. We've had a lot of viewers lately. I mean, uh, the, the numbers have just been phenomenal. So it's either that I'm getting more popular and this show is finally catching on, or there's something wrong with Facebook's bookkeeping. <laughs> okay? But we've had, you know, um, a, a very large amount of people watching the show live on video every night for the last three nights. Now, I don't know if it'll be the same tonight. It doesn't look like it, but then again, you know, we're coming up on Thanksgiving. But uh, if you uh, tell your friends about this, you know, it would be a great help to me if you would tell your friends about it uh, and, uh, uh, and, and get them to listen and to uh, participate. And, you know, and we want you to participate too, you know. We have a handful of people that actually call on a regular basis, and we always like it when we get a new one. So you might think about being one of the new ones, and you will be uh, treated with great uh, dignity until you finally give us your opinion, and then we'll yell and scream at you, okay? Because that's what talk shows are about. Uh, I'm here with my cup of coffee. I, You know, it tastes like coffee, but for some reason it tastes like tea. And I, I made myself a cup of um, Pete's coffee. And for some reason, it, it tastes like tea. Maybe they, maybe they put the tea in there and didn't put the coffee in there or something. I don't know. I'll have to check tomorrow. It looks like tea. I can't show it to you. But anyway. So look, um, uh, gee, uh, tonight we don't have anybody listening. Okay, nobody's watching. All right. I knew it would happen. Anyway... Um, where are we? Oh, if you're, if you're enjoying this so far, look, we're, we've gone down quite a few people. Come on, people, start listening. This is, uh, we're taking tomorrow night off, uh, and so is the whole network. Uh, in its place, we're going to play some old uh, Thanksgiving-themed radio shows uh, on, on the day so that you could maybe tune it in and listen to them while you're making the turkey and so on. They're fun old Jack Benny shows and Amos and Andy and things like that. And, um, uh, and then we'll be back on, on Friday. Uh, of course, one thing I always enjoyed about Thanksgiving was is it usually was two days off because it was the Thursday and then nobody's going to come into work on Friday. Uh, so what do we do on Friday? Uh, we all go to those door busting sales, right? I got to tell you something, of, of all the holidays that we have here, uh, my favorite, without question, is Christmas. Uh, no, excuse me, I'm a Jew. Thanksgiving. Uh, I just, I have always loved Thanksgiving. I'll tell you what I like best about Thanksgiving, and it's, uh, let me turn on my fan a little bit. There we go, I thought I turned it on. God, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tea instead of coffee, and I thought I turned on the fan. I, I don't understand what's happening. I'm losing it. It's time to pack it in. Anyway, so where were we? Oh, yeah. So um, uh, I've always liked Thanksgiving because it is a totally non-religious holiday. Now, Thanksgiving, who are you giving thanks to? Well, you could give thanks to God if you're religious, but you don't have to. What you do is that you it's a day in which we just... It, it's, it's a holiday that just says, give thanks. And you know what happens? Uh, it, it, look at your blessings and, and, and see how you feel about them, you know? Count them up and see that your life isn't as miserable as you think it is. But we'll get to that in a moment. So anyway, 
I've always liked Thanksgiving because there are no gifts you have to go out and get. You know, there are no pressures on this holiday, but the only pressure is on the person who decides to cook the meal. And then really they're cooking the simplest meal you can make, unless you really want to go like my wife and go crazy on the thing. But if you make a turkey, hell, I could tell you right here how to make a turkey. You go out and you buy a turkey. And then you get yourself a pot to put it in, you know, and a rack to put it on. And then you put the turkey in the rack and I can't remember the temperature now. I think it's something like 325 degrees, okay? And you do it at about, you're going to look this up. You can do about 20 minutes per pound stuffed, 18 minutes per pound unstuffed. Just put it in there, and it just does itself. You could, you should, it would be nice if you basted it every now and then. And I like to sometimes add wine to the, uh, to the basting of the turkey, which she doesn't agree with. Uh, so I never cook the turkey anymore. But it's a simple thing to do. It's not, it's not really a pressure dinner that even that you have to make. So there's no pressure. I hate Christmas. I hate it because uh, uh, it, 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 it puts too much pressure on everybody. You know, you got to get the gifts. Did you get so-and-so a gift? Did you get such-and-such a gift? Uh, uh, you know, is the gift you got for so-and-so big enough? Is your, the one you're getting your wife, is she going to like it? Is she going to take it back? You know? My wife says to me, I told her, I don't like to go out and buy her clothing. And she says, why? And I say, because, number one, I don't know clothing that well for women. And secondly, uh, uh, I might get you something that you just don't like. And she says, well, I can always return it. And I said, well, that's not the idea of a gift. The idea of a gift is you don't return it, you use it. And you say, oh, how lovely this whatever you got me. And uh, I, I love it forever. And the only time you return it is when it's the wrong size and you go back to get the same item in a different size. But no, she, what she figures is you go out, you buy a, oh, I don't know, a $300 piece of jewelry. And then she just takes it back and gets another piece of jewelry. Or she cashes it in and goes down to Bloomingdale's and buys some clothing, you know. So I, I, you know, I, uh, I hate buying gifts. I hate giving gifts. I mean, you know, I'm, and I don't, half the time I don't know what to get her. You know, I'm very good at buying you electronics if you want electronics. Oh, uh, yeah, hey, here's an iPad. Here's a, you know, an Echo. Here's a this or here's a that. I know that shit. Uh, and it's usually stuff you can use, too. But now, like, make get me some clothing. Well, I, I'm sorry. I just, uh, I'm a guy. I don't know what you wear or what you like wearing. And I see you dressed all the time, but I couldn't tell you what it is you're wearing. Okay? So I just, you know. So I hate Christmas because of the pressure and you got to get the gifts. You know what I used to do in the old days? I used to go to um, uh, Bloomingdale's uh, or Macy's. Or uh, in those days, Gimbel's, oddly enough, was still was across from Macy's. And I would uh, go in at 6 o'clock at night on Christmas Eve. Now you're saying, that's crazy. Isn't that the most, you know, rush time of all? No. You go at 6 o'clock at night to Macy's. On Christmas Eve, and maybe they close at 8, okay, for their employees, all right? Um so you go in there at six and there's nobody. There's nobody there. And then you just go around, boom, 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 grab this, grab that, bump, 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 and you're out in like uh, 30 minutes. You bought the gifts for your girlfriend, bought the gifts for your wife, you bought the gifts for the kid, boom, 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 boom. And then I, I would do that every year. We'd go to Macy's and use my credit card and I would do it uh, like, you know, 6.30, get out of there by 7, 6 o'clock rather, get right out of there by 7, get home. I already had wrapping paper there. I'm a terrible wrapper. Everything looks like it's, you know, you're handing them garbage. But I would then quickly uh, make up all the, all the boxes and stuff, and then I would put, slap uh, a little uh, phony ribbon on the top and uh, okay we're ready to go but that's how I kept myself from getting so panicked about, oh what am I going to do for so and so and what and then I would always buy what I called um, 
uh, bonus gifts. These were gifts that I would wrap and they were generic, okay? And that if it's like Christmas Day and somebody comes over that I wasn't, I didn't buy anything for, I can quickly go in the other room, slap on a tag with their name and say, here, Merry Christmas, right? And they feel like shit because they didn't get me anything. But anyway, I just hate the pressure of Christmas. So we get around now to uh, uh, Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving has no pressures. All you have to do is eat. All you have to do is talk to people and enjoy the company of others and people that you care about. Uh, this year, our friend Jack Garfine and Natalia are coming over for dinner, and I think uh, uh, Marjorie's hairdresser, uh, because uh, she has no place to go. We like to be the Thanksgiving dinner for people who have nowhere to go, right? Because we have nowhere to go. We, we would just sit here eating the turkey with each other. And so we like to have, have guests in the house. Uh, I used to do that in San Francisco. You know, in the days when I was doing the show with all the comics, a lot of the comics who were playing in San Francisco were from out of town. They were from across the country or wherever. And they weren't home for Thanksgiving. So what I would do is I'd just say, come on over. You know, I'm making a big turkey. And, we'll all, and so maybe I'd have 10, 15 people there. And they'd all eat my turkey, and we all had a Thanksgiving together. And it was like our own little family that we made. And I always liked having people over who had nowhere else to go. So, so Marjorie likes doing the same thing. So we're doing that as well. So the last couple of years, we haven't been able to because we went with our friend of the Friars Club, who put together a pretty nice Thanksgiving meal. But uh, it's not the same. You know, it's not the same as sitting down and just gorging yourself on pecan pie and turkey and uh, dressing and this and that and all the other things. So I love Thanksgiving. Have I gotten that point across? In fact, let me show you why I like Thanksgiving. Uh, this was a video I shot last year. Uh, this is girlfriend and uh, she's, she's making the turkey. It's just a very short little thing, but you get a chance to see how good good and delicious this turkey looks and then you can compare it to yours look at this so it's uh, thanksgiving after right we went out to eat yesterday we, tell me tell me we ate we went to the friars club yeah which i wouldn't recommend on a holiday uh, because it's just one choice yeah so i'm making the whole thanksgiving here's the turkey mm. still has a couple more hours mm -hmm. let me get this back in because it's got to cook we're discussing frying next year. And then here's mash. Uh-huh. Here's broccoli. Here is gravy. Here is stuffing. And there's also stuffing in the bird. And here is string beans. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna have a choice of a beet salad with um, goat cheese. Mm -hmm. And walnuts, or a regular salad, and then and then this is dessert. Oh, here we go. That's good. Let yeah. me let me have some. <laughs> oh. I just have my hand under the water. <laughs> and there we are. And there we are. No bread. <laughs> no bread. Okay. I think I was, was I on a diet at that point? I guess I was. But anyway, um, uh, that was our, uh, our, our uh, Thanksgiving after day because we went the night before uh, over to uh, the uh, Friars Club uh, and we spent it with our friend Adrian. And uh, uh, anyway, so that, that, that's pretty much uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the way we, we celebrate it here. And uh, she cooks a great turkey and she puts out a great spread and, you know, she had her beet salad with goat cheese. I don't think she's doing that this year. I think she's doing something else. But I, uh, I think that I, I just really love the holiday and I just think it, it, it's everything that a good holiday should be. All right. Now, here's the problem. They ruin Thanksgiving. They really ruin it. Do you realize that the, most of the stores tomorrow, remember how they had that Black Friday sales? Like the first thanks day after Thanksgiving is Black Friday. Uh, 
and 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 everybody would then rush into the stores because they had all the bargains that day. Well, guess what? Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and I believe a lot of your stores are going to be open on Thanksgiving. Now, what does this mean? You know, this is a family holiday, and what it means is those people who are employees of those stores aren't going to be at home with their friends and family eating turkey. They're going to be selling pop-up toasters at, you know, Costco. I don't know what. No, Costco was closed on Thanksgiving. I'll give them that, okay? But a lot of these places are open now. And then the worst part is it isn't like Thanksgiving comes and then that's the dividing line between what was and the holiday season. Already they're having Christmas at stores. Already the Christmas trees are up and the, the, you know, the windows are trimmed and the whole thing is already, it's Christmas. And shouldn't Thanksgiving be able to be over with before Christmas starts? And now it starts so early that I'm surprised we don't start trimming the windows in June. And that robs all the beauty and the majesty out of Thanksgiving, which I think is a holiday that, you know, I'm, I'm Jewish, okay? And as I grew up, I knew that Christ was not my fucking savior, all right? And he, he wasn't going to be. He had no intention of being my savior. Uh, and uh, he, uh, it, 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 so this whole thing of Christmas was just, you know, it was not in the, in the, in the playbook. Uh, so, you know, uh, I know some people who are Jewish went out and got Christmas trees and called them Hanukkah bushes, but they were not. But we have Hanukkah during that, this time of the year. And by the way, we have eight days of gift giving, not just one. You would think that if people wanted to merchandise something, it would be Hanukkah and not Christmas, in which you buy one gift for one day for one person, right? Okay, so anyway. Uh, so I never, I never could do the Christmas thing because I'm, I'm Jewish. And I like Thanksgiving because I didn't ha it wasn't religious. I didn't have to be Christian in order to enjoy it. And, and I loved it. I just absolutely loved it, and to this day, I love it. It's my favorite holiday of all the holidays. It's the no-pressure holiday. So why start the pressure early? Why start the sales early? Why start promoting Christmas gifts early? Uh, you know, uh, it's bad enough you got Black Friday, that the day after you have this wonderful holiday, all of a sudden the agita is created for you to go out and get the gifts now right? Here's a little shopping hint for you. Don't buy anything for your loved ones on Christmas. Just give them a little card and say, I'll have your present uh, next week. Because if you bought all the gifts the week afterwards, they would be cheaper than they ever were during the Christmas season. And if you really want to save money, wait for January. Because what happens is uh, stores have to clear all their inventory, because whatever inventory they still have at the end of January, they can get taxed on uh, above and beyond what they've already been taxed for it. So uh, they got to clear their shelves. So why don't you just tell them, look, you know, I love you and you're wonderful, but I, why do I have to give you the gift today? I'm, going, I'm put, putting your gift on layaway and you'll get it in January, you know, and then you can go just easily into the stores and buy a gift, and they'll be just as surprised and and with the gift. Maybe give them a little gift on Christmas Day. Give them a give them a fruit cake, okay? And give them a fruit cake, and then it says this is a fruit cake, but it's a down payment on your present, which is coming in January. Um, I just hate Christmas. I just hate it. I hate it with a passion. I hate the pressure. And after it's all over, you ask anybody if they had a wonderful time on Christmas and they go, well, you know, finally, when, uh, the good time I had uh, with Christmas was the fact that um, uh, it was over. <laughs> you know, I didn't have to do any more buying of gifts. I, had to, I could take a breather. And that was the only thing that was good about Christmas and the only reason why Christmas was wonderful for me. So anyway, that you know, this is this is the kind of thing that bothers me about about uh, what they've done and how they have co-opted Thanksgiving, how they've co-opted Thanksgiving uh, 
in order to make a profit off of Christmas. And, um, you know, I just, I think it's terrible. I think it's terrible. But I, I love Thanksgiving, and I'm looking forward to it, and I think it's wonderful. But here's, here's the other part, and I, I really want to really say this, and I think it's important to be said, and it's important that we, we uh, make a point of this. And that is that there are a lot of people who have nothing to give thanks for. Uh, I don't want to be a bummer for your Thanksgiving, okay? And I don't want to suddenly be Mr. Lefty here saying we should all give our turkeys to other people and crap like that. No. But I'll tell you, you go up the street here where I live, and there's a, there's a food kitchen uh, or food uh, bank, as it were. And there were, always, there were people standing out out there the other day getting turkeys so they could make a turkey for, for Thanksgiving, and most of these people don't have a hell of a lot to be thankful for. They, have, they can give thanks to the fact there's a food bank that gives them turkey. And they can probably give thanks that maybe they have, a, if, if nothing more, a loving family at home. Uh, but still, the average American doesn't have a lot to give thanks for. Uh, what, thank you for all the bills I have? Thank you for the fact that I can't make ends meet? Thank you for the fact that the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer in this country? And, and that uh, I give thanks for the fact that, uh, uh, oh, gee, they're going to they're gonna give me a tax break, but it's not really a tax break because I'm in a lower tax bracket and that means it's going to cost me more? And then you got to ask yourself about Thanksgiving and the people who celebrate. You know, we got our president going down to Mar-a-Lago, to be there with his family for Thanksgiving. Isn't that nice? But what's he doing for all these other people? What's he doing to make this country a better place for everybody? You know, there shouldn't be a single person going hungry in this country. Um, uh, there shouldn't be a single person in this country who should be dying from a disease that can be cured. Okay? Uh, and I just, I think it's it's disgusting and i think it's vile and i think it's horrible the way we act in in all of this that we are a country that has been blessed by being one of the largest countries in the world i'm not going to say the best because quite frankly the best country is the one who just keeps their nose out of everybody else's business okay but we're a, we're a country of, of many blessings financially and everything else, and yet we have this wealth and we don't share it. We have this wealth and we don't pass it around. You know, um, Ch uh, the, uh, Ch was it Cho Enlai, I think, who was the premier of China, who first brought capitalism to China. And when interviewed by Mike Wallace, he said to, to him, he said, but I, I thought you were a communist and you don't like capitalism. He said, no, I have nothing against capitalism as long as everybody benefits from it. And the fact is, there are a lot of people in this country who just don't benefit from capitalism. You know, they, they don't have the ability to start their own business. They don't have, and even if you have your own business, you're going to struggle. Unless you're a corporation, then you don't struggle at all. In fact, if you're like, you know, GE, you don't pay taxes at all. In fact, the government owes you money. You know, so, I mean, isn't it time that when we sit here and we have a, a time of the year called Thanksgiving and we say, Happy Thanksgiving, and I hope, you know, hope this year is good for you, you know, and all of that, that we do something to make sure that everybody in this country has this blessing. Because tomorrow night, I'm going to be sitting at a table and I'm going to be having a lovely Thanksgiving dinner with Jack and Natalia and uh, the, the Marjorie's hairdresser and maybe another friend if we find one uh, to come over and we're going to eat a nice big turkey and we're going to stuff ourselves and we're going to uh, drink some sh wine and champagne and whatever else we have at our, at our disposal but meanwhile there's going to be somebody sleeping out on the street meanwhile there's going to be some kid who is sick and can't get the medicine he needs to take care of, uh, of him uh, you know, what we have to do is we have to make sure that everybody on Thanksgiving has something to give thanks to and that we're not just eating that turkey and thanking uh, um, uh, whatever powers gave us our own particular little place in life 
Um, we're not holding this up as like, na 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 I've got it, you don't. You know, so every, just like everybody is welcome, and I mean everybody is welcome at my Thanksgiving Day table. I mean, if, if a bum walked in off the street and said, I'm hungry and I, I, need, I, need, I want a Thanksgiving dinner, I'd bring them in. And I'd make him feel liked and loved, at least for a time. You know, eventually he's going to go back out on the street. But for the, you know, everybody out there, you got to say to yourself, what are we going to do in the next couple of years in this country to make sure everybody, everybody isn't in pain? Everybody isn't hungry. Everybody uh, isn't, isn't alone, you know? When are we going to become a decent country? And right now, we are not a decent country. We have a president who passes every kind of executive order he can to be evil. I mean, if I were to create an evil character who simply did things to the detriment of other people, uh, if I were to cast Scrooge, it would be our current leader. Uh just absolute cruelty is going on in this country. And it's time now at Thanksgiving for us to say it has to stop. You know, at some point we have to start becoming uh, decent people and, uh, and, and, and not be assholes and not be all just me, 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 me. I've got to have this. I've got to have that. You know, I watched the funniest thing I saw on television in the last couple of weeks. If you get a chance to go see it, I'm sure it's online or whatever. The Kardashians decided for a whole episode they were going to go help poor people. Now, while I appreciate the, the, uh, 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 the, the gesture, uh, the fact of the matter is they then go on and continue to do their show, showing everybody else how they live and that you're never going to be able to. Because... You would never in your wildest dreams be able to live like that. So I don't know what I'm trying to say here. All I'm saying is it's Thanksgiving. Everybody have a good turkey. Enjoy eating it. And uh, if you if you want to say a little prayer for anything, it's that everybody else has the same blessings you do a year from today. Uh, because we can't continue to have it going on like this. And I love my Thanksgiving, and I love my wife, and I love the fact, and I love her turkey, and... Uh, I love our friends, and, uh, you know, uh, and I have a lot to be, uh, I, I, I like to think that I have a lot to be thankful for, but that's all in the past. I don't have anything to be thankful for now. My life is just, you know, I'm living it and, and whatever. But I've had a, a great career, and, uh, you know, I have to give thanks for that, you know. And I have to give, can I give thanks? Give thanks to, uh, this is, sounds really silly. And I said this, when I used to say this on the air, Albert used to give me a bad time about it. I thank you, you know. Uh, what few of you there are out there, because the internet doesn't grab large amounts of people at any one time unless you're giving out makeup hints. Um, but those who have been fans of this program and have stuck with me over this year and in years past, thank you. I really appreciate it. I really do, and and that's part of the thanks that I have in my life is that you're there and you've uh, you you've continued to be there, and uh, that's pretty damn good. I thank you. And by the way, everybody is now pushing out hearts over the screen. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. And they're going all across the screen. Anyway, uh, let's open up the phone lines. Okay. Uh, let our uh, our citizen panel join in here and see what they got to say. Uh, you know, we've, we've gotten quite a few people here uh, tonight. Uh, not like last night, not like the night before, but we'll see what happens once we go to the phones and talk to people and uh, see what they have to say and uh, check in on uh, all our uh, all our friends. We are uh, now the lines are open, and what we do is the citizen panel. And in case people don't know what the citizen panel is, it's more than uh, one person at a time talking with me. It's sometimes up to nine, ten other people. And they all call from all over the country, and they use a thing called Skype. And if you want to know how to do that, just go to gabnet.net. Just shift over to that page for a second. Then over on the right-hand side, it'll tell you all the things you need to know about getting to be part of the citizen panel. It's a very simple process. I know 
Sometimes people go, oh, Skype, it scares me. Well, Skype shouldn't scare you. Skype is pretty easy to use. I mean, any moron can do it. Uh, I mean, uh, Phil does. So, you know, any, mo any moron can do it. Uh, I don't know how many people are going to call tonight. I have no idea because this is Thanksgiving Eve, and people are in transit, many of them, going various places. So we'll see what happens and see uh, uh, if, we, if we hear from any of the fine folks that normally call us. Well, I know that we can count on... We can always count on Phil Meyer, right, Phil? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I didn't get my invitation to the uh, to the dinner. And well, you know, I, well I, if you want to come, just hop on a plane. Yeah, sure. Get on a plane right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's. I don't know why these idiots even get on a plane. Uh, you know, try to travel somewhere for Thanksgiving. I know that a lot of times they just feel they want to be home with their friends and family, but Jesus, it's the worst time to do it. You well, know? maybe. They're that they get beat up and dragged off the plane and settle with United for big money. That's good. That You can do that. That's always good. Hello, Jeff. How are you? Hello. Thanksgiving. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? We're going to uh, my wife's cousin's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And actually, we had originally had a small number of people coming, mm -hmm. and we invited some other people. Mm -hmm. And at the this week we find out that their kids were coming in from from all these different countries and states and whatever. Yeah. And so they blow us off. Oh. So, we, so you don't. Well, so, so what are you doing? You're gonna, so what are you going to do for Thanksgiving? So well, instead of we were going to just have four people, which is kind of a little small yeah. for us, but we're actually going to go see our cousins, who uh, is going to have like. I think 17 people or something oh, okay. like that. All right. Okay. That's and great. so I'm I'm cooking a, a small turkey just to add. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Yeah. And now we have Bree here. Hello, Bree. Hi, Alex. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry I'm only on audio, but uh, when I try the video, it kicks me off. So I'll try it in a few minutes. You might try it in a few minutes. Uh, you're in you're in Dubai or Dubai. Dubai. What, what, how do you pronounce yes. it? Dubai. Dubai. I, I, yeah. It's a funny. Excuse, and, uh, excuse me, because the rest of us call it Dubai. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. How do you say Abu Dhabi? Abu Dhabi. Yeah. <laughs> no, Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Uh, yeah. Abu Dhabi. So that's a nice Abu Dhabi. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what are you do? You do, you're not doing Thanksgiving over there, are you? Sure. You are? Absolutely. What, how you doing it? Oh, every everybody does Thanksgiving over here. You just order it. They'll bring it to you. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get a kosher uh, Thanksgiving? Uh, halal. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Halal to you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm up early. I have to give a talk downtown. So uh, they're going to pick me up here in about 20 minutes. Yeah. And I'll try Skype from my phone, and that way you can see the whole city. Oh, gee, that would be nice. That would be great. That would be a nice well, be, yeah, we'll see. I'll be going past uh, Burj Al Arab and Burj Khalifa. So this will be a good chance for people and, to tune and, in. And, and when you do uh, it, when you do, when you do it, turn your camera sideways so you're kind of uh, okay. so landscape. So your landscape, because a lot of people uh, okay. don't do that, and it looks better, you know, because we get a, okay. It's not like we're looking through a, a fence, you know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, but that'd be nice. We'd love to see uh, um, uh, do bay. Did right. I get it right. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see if it works. Uh, yeah. I, you know, they have pretty good 4G here, but uh, I'll be, I just don't know. So we'll see. I've never done it before. So. Well, be, but, I, you know, I've seen, uh, was it Rob and Brian? They they drive. Yeah. They, they're they on. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. I won't be driving. I'll be being driven. But uh, yeah. we haven't heard. There'll from be you. other people in the car. So I, uh, I'll be muted most of the time. But I can, you know, if you, if you have a question, I can. Yeah. Shush them and answer. Uh, shush them, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. We haven't heard from Brian in a little while here. I wonder why. He hasn't been uh, around. Yeah, uh, maybe and, and uh, we haven't heard, And we haven't heard from Rob, but this is, you know, it's a holiday week. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no more baseball, so it must be that he's working. 
Yeah, undoubtedly a lot of different things uh, causing yeah. that. Uh, but Or nobody loves me anymore. That could be it, too. Yeah. Maybe I gave my sure. thanks for my audience too early. Maybe I should have waited till tomorrow. You know. Yeah. God, I, I would have. I have an itchy back. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. To everybody back in the U.S. Yeah. Well, it, happy. It is Thanksgiving Day here. Do they? They don't call it Thanksgiving there, though, do they? I mean, no, I, I, no, Thanksgiving I mean, it, is it, a. It's seven forty in the morning on Thanksgiving Day, and I'm in the office. Yeah. Well, I mean, Thanksgiving is a uniquely kind of American day. You know, I mean, yeah. what, wasn't it started well, by the know, pilgrims? The, the thing is, Alex, I'm, the talk I'm giving today is to a bunch of uh, uh, what they call uh, social media influencers uh, from the Middle East. There's 100 of them. Really? And, uh, yeah, these are the top. Uh, they get the most hits, the most views, all that. Yeah. And um, and so uh, they are fully aware of pretty much everything American because, uh, you know, the the youth today, they're, they're really on social media, which is globalized. I mean, they watch Netflix and they, they're globalized. So the other day I was, I gave a talk and I was talking about different meanings of words. They knew the meanings that are being used in the States. Some of them even more than I did, Hmm. you know, because I've been out of the States for 12 years. Uh, but they fully keep up with everything. Uh, you know, that's of interest to them through digital media. So it's interesting. Wow. I, now, I don't know if this is a coincidence, but when I was playing around with Periscope last year, uh, you you could look at a number of different people that were broadcasting at any one time. And I noticed that uh, Saudi Arabia and the Middle East... Huge. Uh, huge, huge. You'd have... Do you know... Do you so- know- you can look this up. Yeah. Uh, look up the country that watches YouTube the most, not yeah. per capita, but just watches the most. It's Saudi Arabia. They really? beat everybody hands down across the world. Yeah, you know, you, you know, you had some guy driving through the desert or uh, you know, just doing nothing and there was thousands of people watching. I would go to a rock concert or or something and put it up there. I get 30 people, you know, but uh uh, you know, and it's because I'm not connected with uh, much of anybody. But uh, I noticed yeah. that the, that the Middle Eastern countries had tons of viewers on Periscope. Well, how do I get those viewers? Uh, <laughs> uh, change your name to Ahmed or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Alex, I could tell them to tune in. Uh, you should. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not talking till the afternoon, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, well, tell them what you do. Uh, that you're on. You you call an internet program all the time, actually. You know, but yeah, the, but, the but this is on social media. Well, yeah, <laughs> only when I'm here. <laughs> That's true, Phil. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what's interesting, Alex, is that uh, I, I talk. You know, we normally you were on mass communication, mass media. That's yeah. what you did most of your life. Yeah. To a large extent, that was one way. Uh, you know, you had interaction with some, but but not uh, not necessarily. But nowadays, you know, the the gap between small group or interpersonal and mass yeah. is really closing, um, and so that's what's very interesting, I think. Well, you know, I'll, I'll tell you though, it's 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 kind of strange for me uh, to be working in a medium where you you know. You know, if I get a thousand people listening to this show when I'm on, uh, that's a big night. And and if I tell other people who do stuff on the internet, I had a thousand people last night. They go, "Oh, really?" You know, like that's a lot, a lot of people. You know, I mean, we yeah. get we get more in cumulative throughout the day listening to the feeds and the you know downloading the well, programs and stuff. But what I'm saying is, is that it's a very it, it it's not like when I used to do a show in the morning in San Francisco and I knew I had 20,000 people listening to me at any given moment. Yeah. Right. So you, uh, you're well, in for Alex, it. I was listening on TuneIn this morning. Are yeah. you able to see those numbers? Uh, you know, I don't know how many of those numbers come back. I suppose if you were listening at the time, I might be able to look and see how many people are listening to that particular feed. But I, I don't know how many of the tune-ins actually get reported back to me. You know, it's very hard to tell. Uh, okay. Uh, but, 
you know, it, it's certainly, it's, you know, uh, uh, it, it, listening to us on TuneIn is a good way of doing it. And if you've got, like, a lot of people now have Amazon Echo. And you just yeah. say, Echo, TuneIn, Great American you know, Broadcast, and you, you've you got it. And then every time after yeah. that, you just say, Echo, TuneIn, and then it says, playing last uh, station played, Great American Broadcast, and there we are. You know, so. Hey, Alex, did you know that the Amazon Echo can now call uh, Canada, Mexico, and U.S. Uh, for free? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. I've had to call, um, I've had to call my wife, you know. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I haven't done all the things that you can do with it. I mean, uh, uh, but it's an amazing little device. I, I really think Amazon really was on to something. Yes, Mike? How do you do that with the Echo? Make the phone call. You, you just, just tell you, it, call. Call, call my wife, uh, call Marjorie. I, I just say Marjorie, and uh, she they looks at my contact list and calls Marjorie. So you have to make up a contact list. Well, no, I, I, you, you could actually yourself. probably, get, I, I've never done it, but you can probably give it a number no. to call. Yeah, you can give it a number. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I didn't know that. I mean, Echo is, uh, I, I, you know, uh, I think they were way out front with this deal. And now everybody's trying to play catch up. Google has one now that they're trying yeah, to promote. No, not and, and Apple is trying to f come out with one. You know, and no matter what they do, Echo is just very simple and it works. It, it is amazing what it does. It's like having a personal assistant in your home. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not here to sell it, but it's it is it is singularly uh, <clears throat> something which I got and I figured I'd never use, and I use it all the time. Best place to put it, if you only have one, is in the kitchen, because you're going to use it in the kitchen more than you're going to use it <laughs> Alex, anywhere. That's funny. That's the only room in the house I don't have it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, but I have a tap, so I can take the tap in there. Yeah, I have it in every other room, and I'm I'm just uh, planning to order some of the spots. Uh, they're the, they're the dots with the cameras. Yeah, I uh, wish that I, I I wish that I could, but I can't because of where I live is uh, I'm in a very old building. Thank God it's an old building. It's wonderful, but it's an old building, and uh, I so I don't have the ability to have like remote controlled lights. In fact, I don't have very many lights that are on. I think I have two light switches in this entire apartment. Oh. Uh, uh, you know, everything else, you have to go and turn the light on. It's like I'm turning on lamps every night. Uh, so, but but if you if you have uh, the kind of home where you can add remote control lighting and things like that, you can have it turn the lights on and off. You can have it do a lot of different things. It's really terrific. Just terrific. Um and I hear, I hear last year, Echo was the number one selling gift in, in America. So who knows what's going to happen this year with it. Um, do any of you other guys have Echo yet? Or are you still living in the Stone Age? Uh, definitely the Stone Age. Well, you know what they did? They were very smart because it, it, it really, it's, it's not expensive. You know, it's not terribly expensive. Uh, and what they did is they created a uh, device so that really the bottom line is you can order all your Amazon needs on it. You know, so th that's why I think what they, their main desire is to make you buy more stuff from Amazon. Because I just say, you know, uh, go to Amazon and buy me a roll of toilet paper. And it does. Uh, how, does it, how does it know what credit card you want to use? Oh, what that's address a, you... But that's already in my Amazon put account. All that in there. It's in my yeah. Amazon mm -hmm. account already. So it knows all that information. He knows where to send it. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, and uh, uh, so you say, you know, Am uh, Am uh, you know, uh, I, I want Amazon to send me uh, Pete's coffee, blah, 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 so much, you know, and then she'll repeat it back to you. And next thing you know, you a couple of days later, the top of it starts glowing green with a notification mm -hmm. that it's been delivered. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, does it work wirelessly? Because uh, Bree said he has a tap. Uh, does yeah. that mean that you plug in somewhere? If you're not using it wirelessly? Yeah, that, that has a little docking station. So I dock it, and it charges it. And then I, whenever I oh. want, I just pull it off the dock and take it wherever I want. And, and oh, that I one see. is, yeah, it's not voice activated, but you can make it voice activated. Yeah. yeah. You have to beat it first? But what it probably has... 
Yeah, I put it on a dock, and then you press a button, and you just say, you know, play some music or something. Right. Well, I, I subscribe to the Amazon music thing for $4 a month, and I can say, you know, uh, play me uh, Bobby Darren and Johnny Mercer, and they'll, they'll start playing the album, you know. Uh, yeah, I can my tell mom loves that. Play every, everything by the Dixie Chicks, and I'll have Dixie Chicks all afternoon long. You know, hmm. so I mean, it, it, it's um, it's it it really is a useful device, and cheap. I mean, come on, you can buy one for what ninety nine bucks, seventy nine bucks, eighty nine, something oh, like that. Oh, fifty bucks. Fifty bucks now. Really? I, I got the dot for fifty on sale. Oh, the dot. Yeah, yeah. Let me see here. And I love the, uh, you know, you can put anything on the shopping list. But, you know, it makes you forget a lot because you, you just, you rely on it too much. Right. Right. Uh, we're being joined by Bob Eberth, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, who, turn on your camera, uh, Bob. Okay. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. There we go. Hi, Bob. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Yeah? What are you going to do for Thanksgiving? Uh, my sister's doing the cooking. So uh, I just made one side dish, and I'm going to bake a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. What side dish did you make? Uh, kale. Oh, boy, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. You don't like your relatives. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> don't put yourself out there too much. Yeah, and what are you making for Christmas, fruitcake? I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you can actually you can make a fruit cake, and if you forget to bring it over to somebody's house, bring it over next year. You know, actually, actually, I like fruit cake. Really, you do? <laughs> yes. God. Well, I, okay. You don't like it, right, Mike? You don't like fruit cake? <laughs> well, that's because like, he's as nutty as. Yeah, I. Watch it, Bill. <laughs> it's like a cake with jujubes built in. You know. So, my dad says my great aunt used to make fruit cakes to put bourbon, and wrap it all up, and put it in the those closet. are the best kind. Oh yeah, just let it soak. You let it soak. This is by the time you eat that cake, it's so heavy. Yeah, you get so damn drunk <laughs> in the process. Well, I I did this rant that when I first went on here about uh, uh, about uh, Christmas and and Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. That I, I, uh, anybody disagree with me that it's maybe the best holiday because there's no pressure and because it's, it's non secular? No, I like Halloween. You like Halloween? Yeah. Yeah, because that's the only time of the year that you can uh, put uh, razor blades and apples and, you know. Oh, and you give them to the kids? Yeah. 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 Give him X lax. Or yeah, give put X lax. Give him X lax instead and tell him it's chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, hadn't thought of that one. Well, you haven't thought oh, of that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I always hated? I'll tell you why I hate Halloween. You know yeah. the people who ruin Halloween for kids? No. Who? Tr trick or treat for UNICEF. Uh, you know, you don't kids, that too no, much. The kids, kids keep the, the money. Kids should go out there. They should buy, all, get all that candy, eat as much of it until they get sick or it gets stale, and 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 that's it. You know, it's a holiday for kids to put on a costume and go out and and literally hold up homes for chocolate. Now, when I know? did UNICEF, it was a penny. You, you put no, pennies. But, in. It's bullshit. Do not co-op that kind of holiday for for a for a fundraiser. You know? Yeah. You know, Alex, my mom used to do, after we go trick-or-treating, she'd go through the candy, gave us the candy when we want, the rest of it went in the freezer and freeze it. Yeah. If you don't dare go in that freezer, you get shot. You get shot by my mother. Yeah. Oh, I like, have you seen what Jimmy Kimmel does every year? No. Uh, he has parents videotape them telling their kids that they ate all their candy. <laughs> Uh, well, that'd be good you should go online. It's on. They're on YouTube like crazy. Uh, I mean, it's cruel, but I mean, <laughs> one kid, the father this year, I think, said, "Well, I have something to tell you. I ate all your candy." And the kid gives him a stern look and goes, "Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I saw one where the where the little girl said, "Oh, that's okay." 
<laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, 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 yeah. Bug out. Hopefully, I'll see you on the road oh, in a few minutes. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, tell all your friends to start watching because we're losing viewers uh, tonight, uh, probably because they're drunk already for the holiday. But uh, 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 Bree is going out into the streets of Dubai, Dubai, to the rest of you, and he's going to uh, try and uh, and show us what it looks like. So, going to do a man in the street, the man in the in the car. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to give a lecture to a bunch of uh, social people. No, but I just, I just like Thanksgiving because I just think it, it, it's just a sweet, decent holiday, and nobody's been able to really commercialize it. You know, the Indians did a good job. The, the Indians did a good job. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I, I, I just like it as a, as a, as a, uh, as a holiday. I think it's, it's meaning is, is nice. You know. And it's just, I wish there were more people that had thanks to give, you know, but there are a lot of people in this country who, while we're eating our turkey tomorrow, uh, you know, going to be sleeping in the streets, you know, and we, yeah, I'm going to dress up in my homeless outfit, go down to the, uh, to the, uh, to the St. Whatever it is, dining room down there and uh, St. Anthony's dining room. Yeah. And St. Anthony's. Yeah. And uh, maybe I'll go for doubles, you know, I go through twice. (laughs) Yeah. 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 You find that funny, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, get, I get, you know, I got tattered clothes and, and the whole deal. And, no, know, but I mean, just, you know, in a country that supposedly is this wealthy, yeah. uh, and, and our national wealth is uh, is pretty profound, to think that anybody in this country isn't going to have a place to sleep tomorrow night or isn't going to be able to have some turkey or whatever is pathetic. It's, it doesn't, doesn't really say much about us as a... Uh, as a um, uh, as a society, well, don't you think that uh, there's a lot of people out there making sure that those people that are uh, sleeping in in the streets or in tents or under highway overpasses are getting a meal? And, yeah, but no, uh, but no, I, you, you, it, it, it's because people have to go out and do that. It would be nice if we had a country where we where people didn't have to resort. To take, taking handouts for that. Do you, but, do you think that some people, you know, there's so many services available that they don't have to do that, but there are a lot of people, because of our mental health situation in this country, aren't taking advantage well, of why, those. Well, the mental health situation, why is that, Phil? Or is it because we don't take care of that mental health are, are problem? Are you going to still blame Reagan? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, because... Absolutely. Uh, in California, yeah. especially, yeah, I yeah. will. The reason California saw, saw so many people out on the streets during Reagan's uh, tenure as, as uh, governor, governor was because he did away with all the programs f- for, like, uh, you know, uh, veterans and so on yeah. uh, well, who were coming they, home from Vietnam. And were, and were, uh, a lot of those people that came back from Vietnam were yeah. brain damaged, uh, yeah. mentally uh, brain damaged. <laughs> And and uh, he literally Jeff. threw them out of the mental hospitals and onto the streets. Yes, yeah, Jeff. But I, I think it was very interesting that that Reagan, uh-huh. who eliminated all kinds of services, as he got older, he needed those services more than anyone else. Yeah. 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 As he was on his ranch in uh, Palos Verdes or wherever it was, but. You know, uh, there was a issue over um, uh, a person's civil rights and that, you know, could you commit them to a mental institution or take them off the streets because you think it's for their own no, no, best it, it, interest? No it, was, no, it wasn't a matter that, that Reagan did, uh, was doing that. What Reagan did was he closed down the mental hospitals and got I them understand. thrown out onto the streets. But I think that's half the story. But how the do other, you wait a minute, But how do you do that? How do you do that and in good conscience say you're a decent human being? Y- yes, but if somebody's civil rights are being violated, he he had no choice. What do you mean if somebody's because who's civil? Who's civil rights? Who's civil? Because if these people, boo, if these boo, said, boo, be, heathen boo, asshole, boo, fucker, boo, motherfucker, boo, boo, cocksucker. Yeah, if these people said that they didn't want to be in there. They had no right to keep them in there no, unless they were <clears throat> danger to themselves or others. Some of these people didn't know where they were, Phil. Well, you yeah, know. You, and you're uh, assuming, you know, you're, you're assuming that, uh, uh, you know, you're saying oh, we shouldn't put people in mental hospitals who don't want to be there. Well, sometimes we have to because they're a danger to other people. 
But, uh, but the point is that those people who wanted the help and needed the help weren't able to get it because they were thrown out of the, out of the hospitals by Reagan. Yeah, yeah I, I remember I was living in California. Well, so how cruel is that? They start, when they started walking around like zombies. It was like a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, exactly. And then, of course, Reagan goes on to Washington, D.C., and he doesn't have to put up with that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, because I guess when he was governor, he said that the federal government should be responsible for that. And then when he became president, he said <laughs> the, the, local state, government should <laughs> the state should be responsible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and now we, we, we have a president, the president of cruelty, I might add, because I think that everything he does, he it's like he sits there and goes, he must at night, at like midnight, say, what can I do today to fuck up everybody's lives? <laughs> he the turkeys. Huh? Yeah, you know, he pardoned the turkeys for tomorrow. Yeah, oh, right. the white meat. Yeah. Oh, he. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah of course. <laughs> yeah. Only, only the white <laughs> meat. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that was cute. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Uh, well, he he's uh, certainly given uh, the okay to uh, uh, what's his name the uh, the the raping uh, senatorial candidate. What's his name again? Uh, oh, uh, Moore. Moore. Roy Moore. Uh, he's, he certainly gave his kind of his tacit blessings to Mr. Moore. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, you know this whole this whole I, what I don't get is the statement. You know, like well, you know, a rapist is better than a Democrat. <laughs> no, <that's not> <laughs> no. Basically, that's what he's saying. No, 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 no. You're throwing your own interpretation. Uh, what he says was Wait that uh, Moore is emphatically denying yeah. the accusations. Yeah, and he believes Putin, too, we might add. <laughs> yeah, this is the know, same guy well, that believes he Putin. He saying he believed them. He just repeated what he said. Yeah, but then he, then he more right. or less endorsed him and said, I would rather see Moore in office than a Democrat. And that's saying that basically you would like a alleged rapist as your gov, as your uh, as your uh, senator. By the way, here comes Bree. Let's see if oh. Bree has. Where is he? There's Bree. Now, Bree. Uh, Hello. Do you, do you have? You yeah. got to turn your camera on, and let's see what we're going to see here. <laughs> Bree yeah. is in Give Dubai. Give me a minute, Alex. Okay. Give me a minute because uh, what we got to do here is uh, get off the Wi-Fi and go on to 4G. Oh, I and see. And we make that. Con yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So All just right. give me a okay. Continue. If we lose you, you, just call back. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I hope it's not too disruptive. I hope. No, we would. We would love as a little uh, Thanksgiving evening treat. We would love the people who have gone out of their way to watch this on video to be able to see something uh, interesting, which is a country they've never seen before in their lives. Except out Bree's window. Except out Bree's window. But here we'll be able to see, you know. Yeah, the street. Yeah, the street. Ugh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold and on. All the homeless that are probably running around Dubai right now. <laughs> you know, there are countries in this world, Looking by the way. for turkey. There are countries in this world, and I don't know if Dubai is one of them, where there is no poverty. I don't think there is yes, poverty. Yes, there, there is. Uh, there is? There is. A, uh, I forget the name of it. It was a... Uh, a country uh, in uh, in Asia uh, or in the Pacific uh, Was that Bahrain? Uh, huh? Bahrain Bahrain might be Bahrain, but where everybody in the so, country no, had, had had money, had you know, had had it had. I think was given a million dollars a year or something, year or some amazing amount of money. Some, uh, 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 flashback, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, a little Stop slap back. back. Hello, Bree, are you there now, Bree? Bree? Well, he's he's connected with us. Oh, this is not going to be good. Coming through. Uh, are you there, Bree? Yeah, he's there. He sounds like he's trying. You, 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 boy, your 4G in, in Dubai isn't very good. He said they were going to have free internet. You see, you get what you pay for. We can't hear you, Bree. You're breaking up. Bree? Oh, Bree. Well, we're, we're trying, you know. Uh, hmm. Oh, well, anyway, we'll 
we'll let him try and figure it out here. Anyway, now where are we? So no, so I'm 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 just saying that uh, you know if, if Roy Moore may well win that election down there. You know, it's nip and tuck at the present time. Yes, Jeff. Yeah. Well, it's very interesting. I, I've I've been thinking about it, and you know the guy is a, is a, going to be a potential senator. Yeah, and there's nothing that anybody can stop him from doing that. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they can't get rid of him either. The Senate doesn't have the the rules. All they allow is a person from each state has to put two senators and they select it themselves. Well, you know, I mean, uh, the, the, they say they're going to hold, you know, Senate ethics hearings and so on if he becomes a senator and blah, 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 blah. They can have all they want. And the fact is, to begin with, all these things right now, uh, you know, in this respect, tr uh, Trump is correct, are allegations. Uh, and um, it, it, can you can you hold Senate hearings to oust a guy based just on allegations? You know, there's no way to, to oust them. What has to happen? There's to begin with. If there is any uh, crime that was committed back then, certainly the statute of limitations have run out. Uh, even on the mo more recent one, which I think was still many many years ago. Uh, so you, if you could if you could charge him with something and you could uh, make it stick, then you could get him out as senator. But I don't think you could get him out as senator just because you know you you, you think it. So yeah, what what are you going to say, Kevin? Did you hear uh, the the thing about how that interview about how he met his wife? Yeah, he uh, did. In school, where she was a high school. Yeah, they were they were at a dance or something, and he saw her across the floor, and this was at whatever time, and then he says, and then about eight or nine years later, I saw her at another function, and I said, oh, aren't you so and so? Well, she was twenty three at that time, so minus seven, eight years. <laughs> what yeah. does that put you at? She was yeah. fourteen or fifteen, but you know, just she must, seeing... have been, must have been planting the seed. The only, no? the only, the only, the only mm -hmm. Alab uh, the only mm -hmm. Alabama, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. logistic mm -hmm. that he doesn't have uh, mm -hmm. in place there mm -hmm. is that she's not his cousin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and also, how long have they? Been uh, wait a minute, what is that? What? You got slapback. It, where's this? I think it's slapback is maybe coming from uh, Bree. Oh, there we go. Oh, we, we, we ladies and gentlemen, quickly look quickly. Dubai. There, there goes by. There goes Dubai going by. Uh, yeah, it's frozen though, Bree. Uh, we're, we're only seeing talk. one shot. Hmm? Yeah, Man. this is not the best uh, 4G that I I'm, got. Better 4G here in New York. You know. Uh, in fact. I found that I had great 4G out in Fire Island. I was able to do live broadcasts to Facebook Live from, you know, almost a lot of different places that I've been. But uh, um, I'm sorry, Bree. All we've got is it looks like, what are those, billboards? Looks like a shipping container. <laughs> a shipping container? Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. Are you enjoying your video vacation? Yeah. Uh, no, what Here I'm Port of Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's not uh, it's not working. It's not work. Can he even hear me? Is the question. Yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, boy. Let me. It's a nice view. I, I think I better <laughs> hang up on him because it's it's not uh, it's not working. He'll 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 call. Probably try again, and maybe we'll get a better picture. Who knows? You know. Uh, anyway, where where were we? So, you know, uh, again, it's just it's just that our president is a very cruel human being. And I, I, I think it would be nice if he were a nicer person. OK, is that am I, am, is that a horrible thing for me to say? Yes. You know, he's doing what he said he was going to do. Um, and he got elected. Hmm. Uh, he, you know, he got elected by people that agreed with him. Now Bree is trying to call. And, uh, uh, let's see here. Let me see here. Two participants. 
uh, 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 if you call Bree, Nancy Flack will be a current call will be put on hold. She's not even. Oh, I I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, do you think I, he's I, trying I, to fall an here, existing? I know. I know. I know where, where I what I can do here. There we go. I'm I'm trying call to call him. Hmm. Can you call him? I just did, but he's oh. not answering. So, you know, whatever. Uh, this is <laughs> this is fun tonight, uh, but it's it's also a casual show tonight because it's. Uh, Basically, it's a holiday weekend. We're we're doing a show Friday, and I don't know why. Uh, hmm. You know, so. Uh, oh, because uh, uh, I guess you need the money. Oh yeah, yeah. We have to get all that ad money coming in. <laughs> if, we, if we miss a day of that good Gabnet ad money, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. should I? Oh, here. Well, I, wait a minute. I can I can run a commercial if you want me to run a commercial. Yeah, you got any of those old ones? Uh, yeah, here we go. Here, here we go. This, this is one. This is a, an old favorite of mine. Here's Cal Worthington and his dog Spot. Keep your little short of cash, go see Cal. Trouble's over in a flash, go see Cal. What? Can you hear it, guys? Here's a dinner you can trust. All you have oh. to do is just oh, go I see Cal. I know. You know, everybody in town is advertising new 88 model cars and trucks. Okay, We're well. We're selling 89s, brand I new 89s. Uh, why, why couldn't you hear You can hear the theme when I play it. Yeah. So I don't understand why you're not hearing that. I don't know. Let me go over to Like, Facebook. if I play this, can you hear this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you can't. But you can't. You can't hear the. Uh, you can't hear the yeah. uh, Cal Worthington song. Cal no, is it a? Is it another it computer? It's coming from. Like, oh, you it, know what? It's a it, one. It's uh, one channel. I think that's the problem. It's it's on the other channel. Uh, how about how about the? Let's see here. Is there a? Um, let me see here. I'm t oh, that's that's also one channel. You're going to hear that, right? Yeah. You see, it's, yeah. it's a question that is like one channel versus two channels. So not, basically nothing's working tonight. So that's uh, that's good. I don't know. I'm fe I've been feeling punchy the last couple of nights. I think I need to take a vacation. Yeah. Where, where, just had a vacation. Huh? You just had a vacation. They say you went to Fire Island. And I went to, no, I went to Vermont. Oh, Vermont, that, too. That's not a vacation. It was like one day. Oh. Uh, well, you've got all those air miles. Where would you go? Where would I go if I had all those air if I have all those air miles? Well, we we have talked about going maybe to, to Italy. It's a Spain. <laughs> go down to Bilbao and places like that, you know. That's kind You're of nice. Out of Barcelona with all of the uh, unrest. Uh, well, <laughs> and, 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 it's not like people are having wars in the city there. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was looking at uh, you know, news reports where people were uh, protesting and police were hitting people with clubs. And, and I know Zimbabwe is no good because Mugabe had to move out of there you know, today. What, it was good when Mugabe was there? Well, he was there for 37 years. He must have liked it. <laughs> <laughs> where, are you, where are you coming up with these things, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Phil, you've got a really skewed view of the world. That's true. It was that lake house, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, so I don't, there's not, you know, we, we, a girlfriend tonight said she's sick and tired of watching the news because there's nothing new on the news. It's the same thing every single goddamn day. And they go over day. and over and over, over again and over. on the same crap. And the worst part is today, because there's no news happening today. Yeah. There's no news tomorrow. So what do they do? They belabor stuff. They just... Uh, Let's it, go to Alabama 16 times on the same corner for the same shit. Yeah, I mean, yesterday, Trump held that little press conference before going on the helicopter as uh, his wife stayed out of it. And, did you see? Yeah, did you see her over there? Yeah. Well, she she supposedly got close to the helicopter, so she couldn't hear any of it. That was <laughs> well. The look on her face at one point when when one of them, well, reporters were asking about the Roy Moore thing, it looked like she was going to turn around and say something. Then she turned around the other way and said, "Ah, oh, better not." She never says anything. I know. That's what I'm saying. She's, she's like, like she the ultimate. To. She's the ultimate trophy wife. Oh, exactly. You know, I think if these feminists want to have uh, public enemy number one, it shouldn't be Trump. It should be uh, 
uh, mal- malaria. Malaria, yeah. yeah. What's happened with that guy Ball? Uh, I, he, didn't he uh, step it up and Trump stepped up there? Well, uh, yeah, his he, again, I said last night about Ball. This is uh, what's his name? First name. His name is uh, it's uh, uh, same, the same like name that. as the guy who was on Star Trek. Uh, Lavar. Lavar. Lavar Ball. Because what happened was Lavar Burton was getting a lot of bad tweets as a result <laughs> of the president <laughs> saying Lavar is talking out of his ass or whatever. And then yeah. they would write LeVar Burton and say, how can you do that to our president? And LeVar Burton uh, saying, you got the wrong LeVar. Yeah. You know? is, uh, is it LeVar or some other? White people thing. can't tell the difference between different black people. Yeah, well, that too. You know, they all look you alike. You can't tell them apart. Yeah, yeah, they all, all look, look the same. Alike. Anyway. Same thing about us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Except Kev. Well, I hope, I hope we don't all look alike. <laughs> Otherwise, that means I look like you, Phil. And I yeah. don't. <laughs> You know, I don't yeah, just want, a little less hair. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, we got Bree again. Bree, are you there? Wait a minute, the, the, and the, he's trying to he's trying to transmit a picture. We can see that by the whirling thing. That's very technical. Yeah, he doesn't really, he really doesn't, he really at four G and might be never to go to Dubai, okay? Uh, because the four G sucks. If you do, bring a hot spot. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's terrible. Real? Uh, I'm so sorry. It would have been nice if we could have just sit, sat back and watched Dubai going by the car window, you know. Mm-hmm. And and uh, we can't. He's he's trying he's trying to transmit, but it's not working. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should just put him out of his misery here. Uh, because he was, he's not coming through, and he doesn't know he's not coming through. Um, uh, well, he, he probably isn't getting any any is, of his questions answered, as uh, you know, as he's talking. So yeah, he, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, um, you know, but uh, but um, uh, malaria is uh, uh, she's uh, really never says anything. I mean, can you remember her saying anything? Can, uh, she's always she's standing. She's had a couple of token speeches, and that's about it. Yeah, but I mean, she she is always next to him, like when he's pardoning the turkeys. But she never says "good turkey," you know. Yeah. Or we well, yes we you know. Do you think that that could be a European thing? That you know maybe she's just this no, is no. It's called know, it's called it's school. called it's called a trophy wife thing. Shut up and don't say anything. Just look pretty. Well, she does that. I don't know. She's getting the pot belly on. Yeah. Have you noticed yeah. that? And she's still uh, trying to no. wear those skinny outfits, <laughs> those A-line dresses, you know. I, I haven't taken my my eyes down from uh, that far. Why? You like looking at fake tits? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, I do. Really? Yeah. Have you ever Have you ever had a chance to touch fake tits? Yeah. I think it's women mutilating themselves for the sake of men, and I. It depends, I, I, on, the huh? quality, it depends on the quality of the uh, of the job. Uh, Schmoody, who called last night, she mm-hmm. had, uh, put, we used to call them uh, press-ons. Uh, yeah. She had uh, fake boobs, but yeah. she also had breast cancer, so I she see. had had. Uh, she, what I'm happened second. was she she uh, so she they said well we have to you know put in something it was only one breast you have to put something in there and uh they said uh how large would you like it she says well do the other one too and make them these or something like that and she had these enormous breasts and you know they were fun to look at everybody would look at her and go wow that's the roofing you know but you touch them and it's it's not the same as a real breast you know well yeah it's, I, and i think i think that not- women do that they're Nowadays. mutilating themselves to keep guys happy, and I think that sucks. You know, I know people uh, and men that have had chin implants uh, yeah. and, and and other types of unusual uh, uh, treatments. Uh, well, I've, yeah. I've, yeah, I've had, I've had uh, several facelifts, as you can see. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, I was turned around when they were doing it. So... <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> You have a very tight scalp. I have a very tight scalp. <laughs> yes, um, no, but I just I, I I think that the desire to make uh, to do things like, for instance, 
guys go out and do stuff. They get facelifts, things like that as well. Uh, and why? I mean, the flesh is still getting rotten. Uh, if I yeah. live long enough, I'm I'm going to get uh, the the uh, you know it's taken care of under here, yeah. and uh, I'll get a facelift. I like my turkey neck, I really do. Yeah. And tomorrow, I just have to stay away from the carving board, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> just to make sure that I'm not mistaken true. for the turkey. Uh, but well, just tell them that Trump pardoned you. You know, I've thought about getting rid of the bags from under my eyes. Yeah. And then when I talked to my business manager about it, and he said, why? Are you doing television? And I said, yeah. no. He said, then there's no reason for you to do your eyes, you know. Um, so I'm not getting my eyes done. And, but yeah. th otherwise, I mean, it's not bad. You know, I got... No, well, you know, for, you're you're doing pretty good for your age, and considering well, that you lost a lot of weight, and our skin is not as elastic as it used to oh be. Oh God, it's like you know, I find uh, you know, I didn't have ripples before. You know, when I was I weighed more, and now you, I'm you mean, like, uh, yeah. like the uh, what do they call that? Uh, cheese, uh, cheesy skin, or what? Yeah, uh, 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 crepey skin. Cellulite. Cre yeah, crepe yeah. skin. Yeah. Creepy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jesus Here comes Bree again. We're gonna see if Bree uh, is, is Bree. Are you there? See when we when I can't hear him talk. This is getting as good as NS, MSNBC. <laughs> yeah, we can't hear you. You're breaking up like crazy. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, Earth to Moon. Can you hear us? Do you realize Neil Armstrong sounded better? Houston, uh, we have a problem. I wonder what would happen if he just tried to call us by phone. If he just, you know, if he would be able to. Well, that'd probably cost. Yeah, I wonder if money. he could FaceTime. Oh, it wouldn't work. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it'd be the same thing. Yeah, if I haven't got this set up for FaceTime. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, too bad. This would, would have been yeah, nice. I was looking forward to that. Huh? I was looking forward to it. I wanted to see those uh, buildings. He was talking about uh, the different places he was going to go yeah. by in Dubai. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a lot less people watching us tonight overall, I think, anyway. so. Oh, just because we're not getting breeze. Well, no, uh, the last couple of nights, I've been getting incredible numbers. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, but I don't think it's going to be as high tonight. But it's gonna, it'll be okay. You know. Yeah. You know, everybody at the store today, it was so quiet. Uh, there was very little traffic, uh, you know, and, and, and it's going to be that way for a couple of days after the holiday, then everybody will want to fix up for the, uh, for the Christmas. Uh, but, uh, you know, just before a holiday like this, everybody shopping, the, the traffic on the street with people going, uh, to, to visit relatives, mm -hmm. the, the highway was so backed up, right. uh, and, and I saw somebody had posted on Facebook a, an aerial picture of the freeways in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. And it was just a totally gridlocked. It was a red and white stripe. Right. It was a good-looking picture, but... Uh, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, so, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of it has to... I'm sure we're not going to get as many people as we've been getting the last couple of nights, but it was just amazing that we were getting those. I mean, the other well, night... I stuck in their car in L.A. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> They're all stuck on the No, freeway. let's be honest with you. I, t I turn, uh, after I turn it off, I can see how many people watch the show at some point during the show. And we hit over 1,000. Really? I think that day, for that day, we hit like 1,200 for the video. That's fabulous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Compared to, you know, whatever. And then the last, what, what the night before this, it was like something like seven 800. And last night, it was almost approaching 900. You know. Wow. So, you know, I, so, but tonight I don't think it's going to be that high. I have to start charging a dime a piece. Yeah, we should. Everybody send me a dime. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Mike. Bill, did you see uh, the, uh, the Bay Bridge? No. Local TV was showing the Bay Bridge. Traffic is actually flowing better than it was regular traffic. Rush uh, no, nobody jumps off that when they go to the Golden Gate Bridge to jump. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They got that, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, but that doesn't stop. Well, I don't understand. See, I mean, I really don't understand why anybody tries to travel on Thanksgiving. I mean, didn't anybody ever see that? What was that movie with John Candy and... Uh, 
Oh, yeah, planes, trains, and automobiles, automobiles. or something? Yeah. I mean, that, that's exactly what it was about. You know, they the planes weren't taking off because of the snow, so they got the cars, and they traveled on the trains, and, you know, it is the worst traveling time of the year because of the number of people. And then usually the weather is terrible. What we've got going here, which is pretty good, is yeah. good weather pretty much across the country throughout the holiday so that the, the planes won't back up. But, geez, right. almighty. And then on top of that, because the economy is on an upswing at the present time, people have a little more expendable money, so they're getting on the road and they're going to you know, wherever. So there are more people traveling than have done this in years. And so the crush is just amazing. And why anybody would insert themselves in the middle of that crush, I have no idea. Yeah. They were saying at the airport here in Sacramento, you have to get here at the airport at least two hours. Oh, well, that's uh, that's normal in New York City. Yeah. Two hours for, for, for a flight? Absolutely. Well, maybe uh, Sacramento. When's the last time you flew, Mike? Mike? About four years ago. Oh, well, you see, I mean, it, it gets worse every year. Yeah. You know, and on top of that, what makes it worse is this goddamn TSA. Oh, uh, if it wasn't for that TSA pre thing that I got, uh, it's good for five years. It was 100 bucks, and they just do your back down. <laughs> now, every time I fly, I get pre check uh, without fail. And it is, what a difference. I don't have to take my shoes off, I don't have to take my belt off. Um, I can leave the computer and everything. It's in, funny. In the bay. I got a, I got a thing. We don't have. I don't have pre-check, but on my ticket it said pre-check. Well, it, it randomly it'll take people with pre-check, but when you're a known traveler, uh, it, it's, it, I believe it's called known traveler. Then uh, you get it just about every time. They say that there's a possibility you won't get it, but uh, I I haven't failed to get it yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kevin, we didn't ask you. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Going to Grandma's house. Really? With a basket my, of goodies? Mom's are house, you going to put yeah. on a little red hood and everything and go to Grandma's house? My mom's house? house, yeah. It, it's usually here, but she's getting up there, and so she wanted to have it at her house, and my sister's coming from Citrus Heights. Is it your, is it your grandmother? It's my mother. Oh, your mother. Okay, so you're saying for the ki kids it's Grandma. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, but so I usually do it here. I usually roast up a turkey and the barbecue and the whole bit, and they yeah. all come down here. But they change it this year. So you know what I've been wanting to do, and we swear we're going to do it every year: is deep fat fry a turkey. Oh, that's the best. That's I, uh, that's what I'm going to have tomorrow. <laughs> with the plate going, uh, they're going to uh, do that. Yeah. Well, they, uh, suppose I also uh, do uh, what we did. I also have an infrared cooker that. We'll cook it exactly like a uh, deep fry, except you don't have all the, the oil and the grease afterwards. It drops right in there, and it's a barrel, and it's infrared. Wow. And it cooks it in about, it's about two hours for a 14, 15-pound turkey. But yeah. It comes out great. Yeah. My uh, neighbor uh, smoked a turkey. That is yeah. good. Yeah, but I, I what we it's did, we, we, didn't, we, didn't deep, we didn't deep fry a turkey, <laughs> but what we did do is we got turkey parts one time yeah. and yeah. and like a, a turkey breast and so on and deep fried that and man i've never had a more succulent piece of turkey in my life yeah i yeah, mean i saw so a whole doing a whole turkey that way has got to be terrific oh and that's what, real good what happens is who is it uh uh is it an oil company oh no it's butterball has an actual fryer that you can mm -hmm. use that you know you won't burn yourself or singe yourself it, it it's a, it has a lot of safety built into it yeah most of the, most of the people that screw up or dumping them into hot oil with a little bit of ice on the inside and then it goes all over the place it's a mess well no they ha they have it so that it well, like you push I don't, it in fast you no know, you pick it you put it in then you when you take it out you can there's a hinge on the side so you can let yeah, it yeah. you know so yeah, I mean, it, it's it, it it's supposedly you can't burn yourself with the damn thing, but people have yeah. been known to really do a number of themselves when they just oh, yeah. try to put it some in a pot of oil. Cookers, huh? Some of those early uh, cookers, oil cookers, were pretty dangerous. They said. Yeah, but the uh, new I, the, the the new ones they 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 built in a lot of safety features, as it were, and it's uh, yeah, 
pretty cool. It's pretty cool all the way around. So uh, if you get turkey parts, how do you know if it came from the same turkey? Well, I don't know that it came from the same turkey. But yeah. you have to lift his leg and look. They were yeah. parts. They were. Oh, look! Look! There we, there we go. go. There. Very good. Now, what? Where is that in Dubai? Can we hear from him? Oh no, we just he's freezing up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm here. Oh yeah, there oh. you are. What is that? Yeah. Well, you see the Burj Khalifa. Uh, oh, oh, that's the, 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 the back. soldier. Yeah, I'm the, pretty. The triumph. It's uh, right, right there. Yeah, that big tall one. The yeah. needle. Oh, sorry, it's in the background. Here's some other ones that are closer to me. Oh, okay. We're, these pictures, folks, are coming to you live and direct from Dubai or Dubai, as we call it. Um, I, I had to go inside, Alex, and connect to a Wi-Fi because the 4G was not working for some reason. Yeah, the 4G was oh, sucking. So these, that building is these in are, are, This is, I'm in, uh, I think, Emirates Towers or World Trade Center. I forget. <laughs> I guess I should check where I'm giving a talk. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. And I'm just showing my friends the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. A lot of them. Be oh, you know, oh, oh, okay. Those overhead wires, you mean to say they have things that are overhead that... Uh, I'm giving a talk downstairs. So, yeah, I'll go. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Bye -bye. Oh, it's a security. Just tell him you're talking to... He just said he can't do that anymore. <laughs> Did he tell you you can't shoot out the window? That's right, Alex. Oh, okay. Hey, well, thanks for the pictures anyway, because that was uh, well, what we yeah. saw. It was terrific. You got to see a little bit, right? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. yeah it looked and great. It was great. <clears throat> okay, great. Well, we'll talk. Yeah, I wish I could walk around and show you, but uh, this is actually the, I think, um, this is the, uh, uh, like a main hub for, for government offices. Oh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so it's not like, uh, you know, you, it's understandable why they would restrict it. Of course. I understand They're going to break your camera now. <laughs> yeah. Here yeah. they shoot you first. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there they oh, just chop your head off. Yeah. Don't they chop your head off over there? No. Dubai right? happens to be a very democratic country, isn't it, uh, Bree? No, they don't do that. So they they vote on it. Yeah. Before they so you're, you're... <laughs> what were you saying, Bree? <laughs> what were you saying? Well, I, I'm now to go to uh you know it's a real uh, you're breaking up on us again yeah you're breaking up on us again well anyway thank you Bree. we really appreciate it absolutely yeah i don't even know if he heard that uh, i think so i hate to hang up on somebody without saying goodbye he's inside a building so he's yeah. probably getting in bad spots oh hey if you hate to hang up on people without saying goodbye, we we'll just call you Tony. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. I gotta see my mother. I gotta go see my dog. Yeah, you know, I go see my whatever. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, where is Tony tonight? Probably, he's probably playing with his new dog. Yeah, playing with his new puppy. Right. You uh, think the old puppy's jealous? Oh, I think the old puppy will eat the new puppy. I'm making bets on it. <laughs> You know, my little dog, if I kiss Faye when I'm leaving in the morning, yeah. the dog barks, doesn't like it, gets upset, you know, mm. and I have to go over and I have to double kiss the dog uh, to be able to get out of the house. Yeah. You think he really cares? He's got you conned. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And and uh, wrapped around the little finger yeah. or the tail. Yeah. So what else can we talk about? I, for some reason, I, I guess it's like a dead enough day that I, you know, all I can say is that the only thing that happened today, I think there were eight more accusers of Charlie Rose. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. We, we should keep a little notebook and see which of these guys has the most accusers. I think it's still Weinstein is still the king of the pack, isn't he? Yeah, but Charlie's picking up speed. It, 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 well, he's up to maybe around 16, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. What? What is the uh, wine scene around 50 or yeah. 39 or something? Oh, shit, I thought he was up in the 90s. Well, you really? said, what should we sentence these guys to? I think that I have an idea here that will stop <laughs> the, we'll nip this whole thing in the bud. We should make it illegal for any of them to own bathrobes. <laughs> <laughs> because it seems like every one of these pricks kind of 
He says, excuse me, I think, oh, here was the one I, uh, I loved with Charlie Rose. Supposedly he said to one woman, he somehow he got, walked, he waited in the pool with his pants on, his suit pants on. And he said, oh, I've gotten my suit pants wet. Hold on, I've got to go in the other room and change. And then came back wearing a bathrobe that was open. <laughs> and no underpants, by the way. Now, if you really, uh, if you think the idea of seeing Charlie Rose's old wilted penis is any kind of a thrill for any woman, this guy is. Weinstein so we, and, we've and got Charlie to make Rose it illegal for the, illegal for these guys to own a bathrobe to change into. I think we could, <laughs> you know. Did you see the picture of that Texas senator that had the nude picture on the internet? Uh, yeah, he's a Republican, right? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, but to begin with. It was totally consensual. Uh, right. It was he and I think his wife or something, his wife. His wife. Yeah. And uh, this thing was le leaked as revenge porn. So you can't hold anything against oh, yeah. the guy except the fact that he, you know, took some pictures with his wife. Weren't they, weren't the people in the Senate up in arms saying that they were going to look into this and, and, and so forth? Well, everybody gets up in arms about everything these days, you know. I am, I'm tired of the right wingers, but I'm just as tired as uh, with the liberals as well, you know, yep. uh, because the liberals are just as disgusting as the right wingers. They're um, all disgusting. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be say you're right, or say you're a lefty, but uh, you know what's with all these? Uh, I'm a liberal, or I'm a progressive. I hate I'm a progressive. That's a person who's too chicken to call himself a liberal. I thought he was too shaking to call themselves a socialist. <laughs> well, I'm, I, you know, call yourself a lefty. Listen, years ago, I used to go on the air and say, I'm a communist. Now everybody shut up, you know, because uh, I said, I don't care what people think of me politically, but I don't want them to think I'm a liberal. I don't want them to think that, you know, as Phil Oakes said, I was 10 degrees of the, to the left in good times and 10 degrees to the right when it affects me personally, you know. So I... Uh, um, I, I'm just sick and tired of, of of all of this. I'm sick and tired of the female chauvinist pigs that seem to be appearing everywhere now, you know? Yeah. Uh, that that are, are denigrating all men, you Gloria know? Gloria Allred. Huh? Gloria Allred. No, uh, Gloria Allred. No, uh, you know what Gloria Allred is? If you look at her closely, she's a ventriloquist. She's always sitting next to the person who's talking, and it's like she's got her hand on her back, like she's manipulating the mouth, you know. Exactly. I've noticed and that and it's always the same speech with the woman up there, and suddenly getting tearful over an incident that happened 40 years ago. Yeah, squeeze you know? left shoulder. And, and you know that Gloria told her, at this point, sound like you're crying, yeah. you know. It's always the same thing. Yes, Jeff. Did you have your hand up? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was in, I was being interrupted by the uh, turkey plans. Oh, by the turkey tonight. plans? Oh, okay. I hope they're yeah. good plans. Uh, I'm brining. Actually, most turkey come with two pair of plans. Uh, anyway, uh, where are we? Oh, yeah. So, I mean... I just, I'm just, I'm just tired of it all. It's just, and you know what's going to happen? I said this last night. Somewhere along the line, somebody's going to get accused, and he's going to lose his job, and the, the NBC is going to fire him, or somebody's going to fire him, and he's going to be on the. And all of a sudden, it will come out that the whole thing was a lie. And you know what that's going to do to all of this? It's going to make question. it go away. And the trouble is, it, it shouldn't. Mark. It shouldn't go away. It just yeah. shouldn't be as virulent as it is. Well, you know, because I think it's it's an important lesson we all have to learn. But you know, now, yeah. yeah. Now sure. that this has appeared, when's the last time you heard Black Lives Matter or Taken Knee? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. By the you way, know, by the way, it's very interesting. But the top people, the, the top people that Trump has lately been writing tweets about have all been black. Did you know that? Yeah. Whether it's Maybe Kaepernick athletes. or it's the NFL football players or yeah, whether think, it's yeah. uh, it's Ball or whether it's uh, there, uh, there was another one that he was going after all the time. Uh, 
It's happening all the time. Uh, and uh, it's really pretty terrible. Uh, Did you see that comparison? It was They showed one side with uh, Kaepernick and Ball and and whoever else it was on the left side. And then on the right side was Stephen Kerr, yeah, Popovich. The, these, were people, these were people who he didn't reply to their tweets. Yeah, they said something and, bad about And the only black guy about. there was Le, LeVar, uh, LeBron James. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, LeBron James. Yes, Mike. But he wasn't you know, in the picture, though. It's, yeah. You know, it's, uh, another school teacher got caught again in Illinois this time. How good yeah, looking was she? Guy? How, how that good? was a guy. Email. That. Well, How good looking was she? Yeah, because man, they had a couple of those in Florida that I kept getting a boner looking at. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, why couldn't that happen? To you me? know, I, I said the I said the uh, they and they go oh these poor children they were damaged by these women the only damage that came to those guys were all the bruises they had on their hands from high fiving other guys. Yep. Don't you these know. women know that? These hey, there's Bree. There's Bree. He's back with us. Yeah. Where are you, Bree? Okay, so I'm inside the building now. Yeah. And I'm at my bank. <laughs> is that <Yeah>. your bank? <laughs> what the Wait, what the hell is that? Hey, Wait, don't, don't touch her, Bree. Don't touch her. Let me let me let me bring this <laughs> up a little robot, bigger. Pepper. Huh? Hello. Pepper. Welcome to Emirates NBD, where we invent the future of well, I am you touch you. Her. Silver, human interaction. <laughs> I am here to help you. Yeah, me? so what do you want to do in the branch? Uh, See? Uh, okay, so you're gonna do some. Yeah, but look what they put that thing. Don't touch her. You get, you'll get, you'll end up in the news. <laughs> yeah. Where, where did Bree touch oh, yeah. you? So what can she do? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Is he, is, is he... Oh, oh, the police are here. <laughs> here we go. Oh, so I can get service somewhere. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, I was supposed to get a new card. They were supposed to deliver it, but I never got it. So. Uh, like, no, no, they just sent it to me automatically because I think I was, mine's not well, mouse. I love yeah. this. We're, we're going uh, okay. through a bank transaction in no, they didn't call Dubai. Me. <laughs> Two weeks ago. Look at that. Oops. It's like, it's like it's looking over at us, wanting us to respond to him. Is this also virtual here? Watch that hand. <laughs> Just informative. Can you touch it? And look, that isn't yeah. a woman. That's actually on the video, but it looks like yeah. she's there. Wow. It's wow. Really like a hologram. She is there. <laughs> Boy, do I feel like I'm living in the Stone Age in New York City when I look at the yeah, robot in the sudden, bank yeah. and there's a virtual woman. That's cool. And so she's in other places, too. Wow. She's in. She's all over the place. I love the robot, though. That's really cool. Can, can you give us a view of the rest of the bank? You know, just uh, in a uh, little. Sure, I can give you a view. There's something here. Uh, it looks like a gaming thing, where you can you can play a game and drive through Dubai. Oh, and actually, there's a video from Dubai from outside. Uh, wait a minute. I got. I got to go back to. There we go. Smart parking. Here, here I guess you can make your. Uh, you can have your car park itself. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. You can take it to the park. Oh, jeez. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. So basically, you can reserve a parking spot uh -huh. through this Visa Connected Car application. Uh -huh. And you can do payments and transactions just through your driverless car. Oh, that's cool. Wow. And then it just parks by so itself. Since, uh, <laughs> since park till you, you switch off your car, till you switch it on, well, the payments will be through 1995 Visa. Cool. That's Visa bank card. Okay. Come on. I want to look over here at the little model. And what, what is, is, what is, the, what is, is the model? Emirates Towers or World Trade Center? That's Emirates Towers. This is Emirates Towers. Okay. Wow. Emirates Towers. That, that's the building I'm in right now, guys. Wow. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot smaller. <laughs> wow. so, that's pretty How do you cool. Get the right? elevator. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. It's so Thank modern, you. you know? Not like what we have. Plus, yeah. I wish I had a robot at my bank. I'd sit there all day long looking at it. They yeah. have this one over here. I've never tried this, but you can, uh, you know, you, you've seen the phone where you can call the bank. But this one, when you, um, you can actually view them, too. It's like a video yeah. phone thing. Can you turn mm -hmm. the phone sideways? Can you do that? Oh, yeah. Sorry there you that. go. Oh, yeah. 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 Now we get a nice yeah. wider picture. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's kind of cool, right? Yeah. Oh, no, it's uh, very cool. It's like 
this uh, the building is actually really. Um, oh look, this is a. Uh, an echo. echo. It's an echo. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking yeah, about them tonight. Alexa. Yeah. Hello. How are you? To be honest, it's just speaking. It's been kind of a long day. Just kidding. Wait a minute. Say say to it, Alexa, Alexa, tune in Great American Broadcast. Alexa, tune in Great American Broadcast. Should I play the station Great American Broadcast Network? Yes. Yes. Great American Broadcast Network from TuneIn. Echo. <laughs> it, there we are. We're on in Dubai, okay, ladies work. and gentlemen. Yeah, that's great. Hello, Dubai. Hey. Alexa, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, is this an exhibit, I or is this the bank? You guys on all day. <laughs> what? Is this the exhibit, or I is this the bank? I could crank it to 10 and, they, and leave it on all day for you, right? Yeah, yeah. And look, there's a Starbucks so coffee. Who would have thought? They would, censor the, they would censor your language, Alex. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because we get a little uh, dicey here on the... Yeah. Hey, Bree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bree. What? What's the cost for a house yes, out there? Yes, go ahead. What? He wants to ask What's you... What's the cost for a house out there? Well, what? it varies. Uh, nice. I'm going to go down to the youth hub now. I don't know if I will... Keep the signal, but we'll see. The, the, uh, that looks cool. What what is this called? The what hub? Youth hub. He said he's going. The youth to. hub. I think so. Uh, yeah. Jack Bishop, are when you I there? Down there, I'll. Uh, Jack Bishop I'll called to us. Another at, Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jack, are you there? I know the show's almost over. You've only got fourteen minutes. Okay. So. I just I just want to make sure because I can't see and we don't have a picture on you. Uh, well, I, well, let's I, let's I've, got use, face, uh, I've got a face for audio. Yeah. No. Well, it, it's it, you're, it, that I've got people stretched across the screen, and there's not enough room for you, so you're off to the side, and I don't have that in, uh, clip. I've been off I, to the side on many things. Yeah. I, can see I think we there. just lost him. Uh, he's probably going to have to switch Wi-Fi there. Um, hey, I heard you say that uh, uh, the only people that Trump is tweeting about are black folk. Yeah. How do I get on that list? I need the publicity. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. I, 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 I hear you. I hear your pain. <laughs> uh, you, uh, shoplift. You're, a, you're SOL, Alex. What? I said you're SOL. You're white. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a chance. Do a little bit of shoplifting in China. Yeah. And uh, you well, know, you... China. I can when I can do it right here in my own very neighborhood. Well, oh, yeah, but I don't think Trump uh, pulls you out of jail from uh, Texas. That was another thing that Trump did. It's just his whole disdain for, um, uh, for, for uh, what's his name, son, Ball's son. He doesn't have any disdain for the son. The son was a perfect gentleman. Well, no, but he, he, his whole idea about how would you like me to just let him rot in jail? He wants to take oh, all the, he, rather than just say, I got him out of there and not care what anybody thinks, whether he got him out of there or not. Exactly. He, he just has to, I but I got him out of there. It wasn't the State Department, he said. It wasn't this. It wasn't that, you know. And you want to go, fuck you, you know. Uh, Bree, horizontal uh, there you go, Bree. Yeah. There we go. Wait a minute. Okay. We got we got more pictures coming to us from Dubai, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, all you got to do is click on his square, and it'll go full screen. I know. I just did that. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Uh, what have, what have we got here? What is so this? This is the youth hub. <clears throat> this is the youth hub where uh -huh. I'll be giving a talk to the social media influencers today. Oh, good. Yeah. And uh, um, let's see here. Uh, uh, and there's there, there's what is what is that? Uh, just video of other speeches yeah, that people give. Video given? of the conference and the yeah. other speakers. And what's up? What is going to be the subject matter of your? My uh, subject matter today is I'm just going to be talking about uh, media history and memory. Yeah. And yeah, so I'll be talking about. Um, how the changes that have occurred in Middle East media over the last uh, few decades. Wow. You know, so this is great. This is, this, you know, this is the world I wanted to live in, where we could get on the phone and talk to somebody in Dubai. 
you know, and see another country and see another culture and see, by the way, how more modern your banks are than ours. It, yeah, it makes <laughs> yeah. us look Alex, antique. Alex, I, well, I told you before, a lot of times when I come back to the U.S., I really feel like I'm going back in time. Yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah. Uh, because we've just got so much... Uh, happening here, it's unbelievable. I mean, well, I mean, the, the, are yeah. there any banks in Manhattan that have robots that help you? No, I not at all. Except, uh, well, some are of the some of the tellers are, but that's <laughs> just a that's just a qualitative have... uh, 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 feeling. Um, <laughs> wow! And yeah. look, and look at the food. Oh, is that going to be free? Of course. Yeah. Oh. See? It's all free. There's no, there's no free lunch in the United States, but there is a free lunch in <laughs> Dubai. And that's yeah. what all the people going to your little speech are going to be able to feast on if they want to. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. I just, I just saw somebody there who you have to pay. No, oh, you can also pay if you want to, yes. What do you mean you can also pay if you want to? You can either eat it for free or pay for it? No, this is free over here. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. And then this is pay over here. Oh, I because see. Because people come in and out. You know, people yeah. are coming in and out. It's not just yeah. for me and my the and the influencers. Anybody yeah. can come in here. It's free. Yeah. Alex, you can come here and do your show. It's free. You want to have a pod? You can have a pod. You want to play games? You can play games. You want food? You're doing your show? It's free. You want to have a locker? You can have a locker. Where's the showers? You, you want to get some coffee? You get a coffee. The showers are over there. Mm -hmm. Really? <clears throat> yeah, so you, can, you can come here for free and you can work here. You can bring your group here. You can talk, whatever you want to do. It's free. Is there, have these... uh, do they have sleeping uh, accommodations? <laughs> well, there's a hotel. There's two hotels in the building. So wow. Wow. <laughs> now that you'd have to pay for. You know, this is what the re one of the reasons why this is all so modern, folks, is that they don't have to retrofit it. This is just they built a city, you know. Out of nothing, and they were able to design it the way they wanted to, and make Continue. it as modern as they wanted yeah. to. What? She's a little embarrassed. What? She's taking a, a, a photo, but I'm I'm videoing with you, so she wasn't going to take it. I said, "Go ahead and take it." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this has been really nice, Bree. We really appreciate it. You know. Yeah, you know, I got up early to come down here early, Alex. I don't have to be here for another like five hours, but uh, <laughs> I came down here so that I could just show you guys. Uh, you know what I'm doing today, uh -huh. and I you know I wish that I could have gotten you more pictures from outside. I've got to figure that bandwidth issue out. Yeah, and uh, yeah. you know we'll figure it out. Yeah, but uh, this is terrific, Bree. Thank you so much. I really yeah. appreciate yeah. it. Uh, every, yeah. every, everybody, give them a big round you, of applause. You want to talk to? Uh, these are my colleagues. Yeah. And hello. Oh, those are your colleagues. Wow. Now, did you tell your colleagues where we're all at, that we're in New York, we're in California, and and so forth? Well, looks I, like I, may have lost I, his I family. I think we froze. The Stone Age. <laughs> we, we froze on his uh, compatriots. Yeah. That's terrific. See, Jack, uh, Jack, this is the kind of thing we can do on GabNet if you have video. Now, does that qualify as a remote? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Well, look, I got to get ready to do a show, but I wanted to invite all of the citizen panel members that you have to join us for uh, uh, the intersection. We got cookies tonight. Come be with yeah, us. Yeah, this what, and this is what you call poaching the panel. I'm not poaching. <laughs> I'm promoting my show, man. <laughs> oh, if I'll, I'll, you know, I'll show you uh, his I'm, what his talk is going to be on. Oh, uh, oh, oh, what? Oh, okay. I, I can I read it, every so. word of that. Oh, no, social yeah. uh, media and needs. <clears throat> so oh. it's cool, right? Yeah, it's very cool. It is just so cool. Thanks, good morning. Yeah. Oh, wow. So the Internet is better when I'm over here. I don't know why. Well, it's probably but. because where the Wi-Fi is, you know. It's probably more centralized. But anyway, uh, 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 Jack has to go because he's got to go do a show here in about now, to show you five how minutes. Much the Internet is there. Yeah. My cohort in crime, Amy Manuel, is in one of the states to the east of me, mm -hmm. and she cannot get internet service. <laughs> Where she's at, she cannot get the internet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's uh, that's a shame, Jack. 
<laughs> Did she go to Alabama? Huh? No, no, she's not in Alabama or Mississippi. She's nowhere Oklahoma. near Roy Moore. She said she was going to stay away from any state that was close to Roy Moore. Yeah, it, 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 she's in a, in a, um, uh, oh, here, here's Brie again. Okay, there we go. You know, we lost him there for a couple of minutes. Uh, so uh, Amy isn't going to be on with you tonight? I think we lost Jack. Uh, oh, there we go. What is this? Uh, 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 Harry back in Beirut and back in power. Harari. Who is Harari? Yeah. Who is Harari? He's the prime minister of uh, Lebanon. Of Lebanon. Okay. Yeah. See, because we didn't even get that piece of news over here. <laughs> this is where I do a lot of my shopping. Uh, a place called Carrefour. It's a French place. <clears throat> oh, really? Now, what denomination do they use for money? Is it, They don't use dollars, right? Uh, you can. If you want to use dollars, no problem. But, uh, so where I see twenty four hundred ninety nine and forty nine seventy five. Is that uh, what denomination? Is that? that would what? be dirhams. We call it Dear AED. Yeah. Dirhams. Oh, D H S. I see. Dirhams. Yeah. Yeah. Dirhams. But uh, <laughs> you can use dollars if you want. There's raspberries. Yeah. So I'm reading the paper and I'm drinking my my Dubai water. Yeah. So what is the conversion from uh, dollars to deer humps? It's pegged. It's pegged at 3.6. So $1 equals 3.6 deer humps. Did you get to hear my colleague and his what his talk was going to be about? No, 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 because you froze. Oh. Yeah, froze. Yeah, the, the Wi-Fi is not good over there. I don't know why. And the, yeah. that's the actual area. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, we only have a few minutes or I'd call him over. But he was talking about... Uh, how to go viral on social media, you know, increase your odds. Oh, really? I, I wish I were yeah. there to get a good lecture on that. <laughs> yeah. It was strange because the Wi-Fi froze when I was uh, walking over there. Otherwise, it would have, you know, yeah. continued. Well, this has been a, real but, uh, been a real treat for us, you know? Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm telling you, one of these days I'm going to get my uh, laptop and I will go over. There's a coffee house near the Burj Al Arab and the Burj Khalifa. And if I can situate myself connect to the Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. then I can do the show from there, right. uh, you know, and, and, and converse with you guys. Uh, you know, this, I'm sorry about that. I, I guess when I was driving, it must have been in and out. You're right. Uh, yeah. It, it, yeah. Uh, you, uh, the picture froze, or we didn't have a picture at all, and then your uh, audio was pixelated, sort of. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are applauding you right now and thanking you. They're giving thumbs up uh, across the screen because they can do... Yeah. Thank you. You know, and uh, I, I'll put my thumbs up, too, uh, and say it as well, yeah. although I can't. Uh, they, they, but they're, they're doing it. They're doing it like crazy, too. So they, they've been enjoying it. Hey, listen, uh, oh, yeah. you know something? I think we had better start thinking about getting out of here. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Jeff. We appreciate it. We also appreciate the participation of Bob Eberth. Uh, we haven't seen you in a long time, Bob. Uh, we got uh, Kevin. Thank you. Thanks to Mike and thanks to Phil. And then most of all, thanks to Bree, who is coming to us live and direct from How Dubai. How much were those laptops? Huh? <laughs> uh, 99 <laughs> deer humps. <laughs> yeah. he's checking out the newspaper and we saw 1899 so 1899 is how much in uh, dollars oh, three point, yeah. I think that's right. 1899 in dollars too anyway yeah. everybody have a very nice uh, turkey day and everybody wave yeah, goodbye and uh, say uh, say goodbye to our audience thanks guys I really appreciate your uh, your participation tonight uh, I mean, hold on a second I gotta get myself back on here and uh, there we go. Uh, that's uh, that's it from uh, everywhere. Dubai, uh, Sacramento, uh, Texas, uh, um, uh, Phil's place, <laughs> wherever that is. Anyway, oh, God. I don't know. I'm so punchy tonight. I don't know why. But I hope you've had a good time. And I thank you all for joining. Yes, thank you for your thumbs up. Yes, they're all saying goodbye. Uh, we'll see you. We're not going to be on tomorrow night, but we will be on again on Friday uh, when we come back here. Uh, Jack and Amy are next. Well, Jack, without Amy. And then uh, Connections at midnight. I'm Alex Bennett. See you tomorrow, um, Friday. Same time. Same place.
place in life, same station in life. Oh, boy, I'm so punchy. I, I don't know. What is it tonight? Maybe this is the last night. Maybe this is when I finally lose it. I go to sleep and I wake up not being able to talk anymore. Anyway, uh, uh, I'll see you again on Friday. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as usual, if you see her, tell her I love her. Bye. Bye.